focus and everything? Yeah. All right, well, there's just a rattlesnake down there. But the only problem is, is I'm gonna need to find a stick because he's coiled up right now. There's no way I'm gonna get him. Um, I should have brought a stick actually. Let me be right back. You can, can zoom in on air. Don't get too close. Don't stay the rock. Don't stay rock. Don't mind the focus, my brother sucks at using the camera. Is still there? Yeah. Where's he at? Okay. okay. Sweet. Um, here, back up a little bit, Tony. Back up so we can see Okay, he's getting puffed up now. <laughs> Have the light, you don't need your flashlight. Okay. <laughs> this is a sad stick. Alright. Out of all the sticks. So um I'm gonna try to bring him back to the main uh, trail there. Um yeah. Do this. Oh. Okay. I think my stick broke. <laughs> no, nope, there's my stick. And there's no way I'm gonna get him. I see him. I see him. <laughs> That's probably far too dangerous. But hey, that never stopped me. He's far more active than the one yesterday. Try to. Seriously, oh, don't ever try doing this. It's far too right, sketchy. Gonna hopefully start coming up. Yeah, his head's coming out over there. Right. You got him. Let me get a better grip on him. Alright. Okay, don't worry. <laughs> nope. Stay on. Wanna get back on the trail? Or? Uh yeah, let's, let's back up a little bit. So <laughs> uh, stay, 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 stay. Alright, just back up. Back stick. This is the worst stick in on the planet. Okay. Back up. Okay, let's go right here. How about this? How about this? All right, you can get down low. So this is a red diamondback rattlesnake, and there goes a spider, actually. Now calm down. Calm down. You're all right. You're all right, baby. Woo! So, these, these species of rattlesnake are very common here in, uh, in Southern California, specifically Riverside. Um, you don't see many other species like uh, Western Diamondbacks um, in this specific area. These are uh, the main species here. <sighs> well, let me get my breath, my breath here. All right, it's pounding super fast. Um, so he's, you can see how he's really calm. He knows I'm, I mean, no harm to him. Um, so this is probably about a two-year-old rattlesnake here. And as you can see, if you look at the background. He perfectly camouflages into his surroundings. And that's what these species of snakes use, is 100% pure camouflage. Um, he'll sit there, as you saw, he was ca um, coiled up there. He'll sit there coiled up, waiting for a kangaroo rat or any uh, mammal to just come by, scurry past him, and he'll strike. Now, these are a fairly slow 
a species of snake, but don't get, don't, that's where you're wrong, okay? I'll tell you what, this species of snake can strike over 175 miles per hour and wham, straight, whoa, I scared him a bit with my big, with my big strike. You're the one with the big strike, mister, not me. Don't come at me. Here, come this way. Woo! All right. As you can see, my leg's a little bit shaky there. Just calm down. Calm down. You're all right. You're all right. So, yeah. Um, what these snakes will usually eat are uh, kangaroo rats, um, which are endangered species here. Hopefully, we'll find some later for you. Um, let's, get, let's get you out of there, all right? So as you can see, he's not striking at me at all. They're very docile, and, um, um, but that does not mean to go out and start catching them like I do. Don't be an idiot like me. Um, so, yeah. Calm down. But... Aren't these just beautiful creatures? Woo. Getting a little too close there for my comfort. But let me... Woo! Okay. Don't mind me screaming like a girl. But as you can see, let me get a close up on his head. It's already zoomed in all the way. He has a diamond head. And the, the only species, species of snake that have a diamond head like this are vipers. And rattlesnakes are in the viper family. Um, so that, that means they have hematoxic venom. And by crikey, you do not want to get bit by this type of snake. So uh, I'm just gonna let this guy go. Hopefully he catches some, uh, some rats for dinner and then uh, lives his life, all right? There you go, buddy. Don't go back at him. <laughs> what an awesome species. <laughs> well, that was easy. That was, what, five minutes into our hunt? <laughs> yeah. Want to stop recording? Uh, yeah. Watch me stuff because uh, they're pretty well camouflaged. What, the rats? The rattlesnakes. <laughs> I know what you're talking about. <laughs> no! Alright, got him. Oh, nice. Oh, the little kangaroo rat. <laughs> Alright, so this is what's known as the bandit gecko. And they're really small, as you can tell. My fingers are bigger than him. Um, but look how gorgeous he is. Um, as you can see, they're called bandit geckos. Oh, yeah, he is a male. Um, ah, come here. They're called bandit geckos because of the bands on them. And uh, these guys are strictly nocturnal, they do not come out in the daytime. The only chance of seeing them in the daytime is if you're flipping over rocks and uh, there's a lot more stuff you can find if you're flipping over rocks. Um, not quite likely to find these guys. So that's why we come out at night and you'll find these guys are everywhere on the floor. Just looking for insects like crickets, that's what they eat. And I don't know if you can see their eyes, there's beautiful eyes. Um, I don't know if that's focused. Yeah, it just got to focus. Okay. And as you can see. If, when the light shines perfectly on them, you can almost see through their skin. That's what happens with a lot of geckos and uh, these guys too. Oh, oh. <laughs> don't lose your tail there, little guy. And uh, here you go. That's the banded gecko. I love these guys. Just want to like give them a little kiss. Mm. All right, off you go. Are you recording? Yeah. Let me see if I can get this guy. He's just right there. Yeah, you got him. 
like I said, they're everywhere <laughs> at night. These guys are so cool. All right, I just caught your little friend over there. He's probably your brother, isn't he? Yeah. All right, I'll just let this guy go on this rock. There he goes. Listen up, Chuchi. What you're about to witness is pure luck. What? <laughs> it's so fast. Oh my god. Whoa. Yeah. You do? Yeah, you recording? Yeah. Alright. So guys, this is a kangaroo rat. <laughs> now what's really cool about these guys is first of all they're called kangaroo rats and as you can guess why that's because of their feet here. They jump like that. Whew, let's see if he does it again. They jump like that. But one of the best things about these guys, well not best things, but most interesting part about them is that they are actually endangered. Let's see if he doesn't bite me here. Yeah, that's not really cool, Joseph. Um, they're endangered species, but there's hundreds of here that we've seen today, maybe even thousands, and that's, that's what's amazing is um, this area that we're at right now is surrounded by city, and it's, it's really protected uh, by the state um, because of the, of the species, um, because they're endangered. So all the species that live in this, in this little area the rattlesnakes, the owls, the lizards, you know, the bugs are all protected because of the species. Um, and as you can see, they're making a comeback. Just look at their little tail here. Little furry tails. Let's get some close-ups of that and make sure it's focused too. He, they're really calm too, that's what I like about them. Yeah. Look at those big eyes, if you can see. Yeah. And their whiskers. Look, if I can catch you, but I know the other animals can, like the hawks and the and the rattlesnakes. So you better you better scurry off, little guy. Yeah? How about how about that? All right. Oh, there he goes. <laughs> Next release. And a release. Let's go see what else we can find. <laughs> 